Khloe Kardashian is fit to be tied. I am Holland Reed in Hollywood for the Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. The reality star and host released a fiery statement on her blog, ChloeKardashian.com, defending her family and marriage saying enough is enough regarding the status of my marriage, false reports about a miscarriage, the horrible lie that my dad is not my biological father, and jealousy over my sister's lives, etc. Let's welcome senior reporter from GossipCop.com, Emily James. Welcome, Emily. So why do you think that she felt this was the appropriate time to go public on the defensive yet again? So for months, the tabloids have been running false cover stories claiming that she and Lamar were having problems. But on Wednesday, there were actually three different covers about her. There was In Touch saying, Chloe, I'm not a Kardashian. Wow. Then there was Star saying that she was going to pay a surrogate $500,000 to carry her baby. And then Life and Style claimed that Lamar was cheating on her. So I think just the three in one day, she got completely fed up with all of it and decided to take a stand. You know, which is pretty understandable. I, I can see why she would want to defend herself. That's a lot to take. It seems like they really always get super personal with a lot of low blows, um, you know, directly at Chloe and not really to the other sisters as much. It just it gets really nasty. So does Chloe really have a point this time? She definitely has a point. To say that her late father, uh, whom she loved deeply, is not her dad is just too personal. And so she, she felt that she had to say something to defend her family. Gotcha. Well, another part of her statement speaks directly to the tabloid's headline saying she's unable to have a baby in her rocky marriage, saying, I am happily married to a wonderful man who I fall in love with more and more each day. And we'll have a baby when God wants us to and when the time is right. These blatant lies are distasteful and shameless. So, Emily, Will this statement even make a difference, or will this just continue because that's what tabloids do? Right. Unfortunately, it's not going to make a difference. I mean, maybe for next week there won't be as many stories, but in the long run it's not going to make a difference because this is how they sell magazines, this is how they make money, and that's just the way it is. Right. Well, maybe they'll let up, maybe they won't. I guess we'll have to see. So thank you so much, Emily, for joining us today. And for the latest news in Hollywood, stay clicked on CelebBuzz.com.